Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about the four things or four tools that I've used over the past 14 years as a professional artist selling his work uh, to price my carvings. So um, in, in the first tip, it is uh, probably the simplest one of all of them. Just ask somebody, talk to someone, right? In, in one case, it might be a friend. In another case, it might be somebody hopefully who does what you do, or at least as an artist in a similar realm of work. So talking to people can give you the reassurance that you need that what you're creating is worthwhile. Even after all these years of carving, I still need to ask people what they think it's worth. Um, and uh, sometimes it's just a little boost that you need. Sometimes, of course, people will underestimate. Sometimes folks will overestimate. That's just something you have to weigh into it. The second is using the Dutch auction. So if, for instance, I'm going to an art show, um, a lot of times I'll start with a little bit higher of a price tag than I feel comfortable with. The reason I do this is because it's way easier to decrease the price than it is to increase the price. If someone sees you increasing the price of your work, they'll kind of feel gypped, especially if it's over the course of one or two days. So you need to make an adjustment at the end of the show. You're not selling enough. You can always reduce the price, uh, but it's harder to increase the price if you're selling too much. Uh, the next tip um, is to kind of consider the audience. And, and the reason that I say to do that is not so that you can hike up the price extraordinarily high if it's, uh, you know, and rip them off if they can afford it uh, or manipulate people. It's just to say, don't price things based on what you can afford because you might make significantly less than the person who's buying your artwork, right? An art collector is probably gonna have a little bit more liquid cash than you are as an artist, right? That's just kind of the way it goes in many cases. Not always the case, some artists do really well for themselves, uh, but most of the time, you have someone who's collecting art on a large scale, they're gonna have a little extra money. And so you might not, especially if you're starting out in pricing. So keep in mind your audience. If you make toys, you're probably gonna to sell to parents and the average parent, unless you're selling a high-end toy, isn't gonna be able to afford a really fancy expensive toy for their kid, right? So little Jimmy is gonna to have to make do with the $40 toy or the $20 toy, not the $400 one. So just keeping that in mind is important. Right. So for me, I'm trying to sell to maybe upper middle class people. So, and that's just kind of the way it is. Right. More retired folks than not. But a lot of folks are younger working people, couples that both are professionals. Um, and then sometimes younger people, you know, who uh, who really are passionate about art. They like to pony up the dough and I love to sell them the stuff. And uh, so that's sometimes the case as well. So um, and the final one, I have to grab my notes here so I don't forget, um, is um, deciding on the happiness level that you have with the piece. Sorry about the noise. Sometimes you're just really unhappy with the piece. Maybe you've put a lot of time into it. Um, you know, using the other tools, asking a peer is also helpful, using the Dutch auction. Um, think about the audience for sure. But sometimes when those fail, you can just base it on how happy you are with it. If you really don't like a carving or you really think you botched it, you can lower the price. But for instance, if you've spent an hour on a project and you love the piece and it's really valuable to you, you should feel comfortable to increase the price accordingly. So if I spend an hour on a piece and it turns out really well, I'm not gonna charge my hourly rate because if I only charge $100 an hour, I'm only making $100 on a $300 carving. So just asking yourself the simple question of, how much do I like this? Is really going to help you to determine uh, what your price should be for it. Anyway, that's it. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed and uh, it helped you out if you're trying to sell your stuff. These tips have helped me out. I've learned them from very wise people, much wiser than myself. And uh, we'll see you uh, in the next one. Bye.